There's a major surge in absentee voting in Florida this year. 1.1 million absentee ballots have already been mailed in. At the same time, there's growing concern about absentee ballot fraud. Tonight, I introduce you to a firefighter on a mission to expose absentee ballot fraud. Elections are being stolen. Eric Johnson is a 10-year veteran of the Hialeah Fire Department. His career has been focused on responding to life-threatening emergencies with his fellow firefighters. But recently, Johnson has been on a different mission, fighting absentee voter fraud, a problem he believes is eating away at the fundamental democratic principle of one person, one vote. This is huge. This is about the democracy and the principles of the United States of America. Johnson says that for years he witnessed voter fraud targeting the elderly in Hialeah. I've been told by many elderly people that no, they just shoved their way in my door and they, they made me sign it and they threatened me and this is inexcusable. Fed up with what was happening to seniors and getting no results from authorities, Johnson decided to take matters into his own hands. Using his own money, he hired a private investigator who followed this Hialeah woman he suspected of absentee ballot fraud. She was picking up more than the legal amount of ballots and taking them to the post office and mailing them. Joe Carrillo is the private eye hired by Johnson. Carrillo followed Daisy Cabrera to campaign offices, the Miami-Dade Elections Department, and the post office where she allegedly mailed 19 absentee ballots. It's against the law in Miami-Dade to possess more than two absentee ballots. Following the tip from Carrillo and Johnson, Miami-Dade police arrested Cabrera and charged her with election fraud. Cabrera is accused of being a boletera, a person who makes a living in the absentee ballot business. A boletera is a person who is paid by political candidates to gather the absentee ballot vote. The boleteras go around and they will push and they will push and they will push. Usually boleteras work for campaign consultants hired by a candidate, but before they can commit fraud, they have to get their hands on your absentee ballot. One easy way to do it is to go to the website of the Miami-Dade Elections Department. Okay, so we have your name in there. Johnson walked me through the process of ordering an absentee ballot. By typing my name, address, and date of birth, he showed me how easy it is to request a ballot and have it mailed to his house. Once I get your ballot and it is in a sealed envelope, all you have to do is sign it. So I come up and say, look, we already voted for you, just sign here. After Daisy Cabrera's arrest, police charged Sergio Robina with absentee ballot fraud. He's the uncle of former Hialeah Mayor Julio Robina. Investigators also questioned Miami-Dade Commissioner Esteban Bovo after 164 absentee ballots were collected by an aide in his office. After years of complaining about absentee voter fraud, Johnson and Carrillo feel investigators are finally paying attention. Could you imagine if there was 100 Joe Carrillos out there, what we would find? This was just me and Eric. People say, but why you? Why you? Why? Well, well why not me? It's time to take back our country. And if it starts with a fireman, if it starts with a sanitation worker, if it starts with a teacher or a nurse or a caretaker of the elderly, then so be it. It's got to start somewhere. But it's time we come together and fix this problem once and for all. Well, absentee ballot fraud remains under investigation by Miami-Dade police and the FBI. Accused Boletera Daisy Cabrera has been offered a plea deal in return for cooperation, but so far, no deal has been reached. Good for him yeah. for doing this. And how much did he pay? How much of his own money did I he use to go after that? I asked him that question, and he refuses to tell me. He says he won't, he won't say, but he's going to do whatever it takes, he says, to expose this problem because he says it is intrinsic in wow. our political system here in South Florida. All right, yeah. great story. Well, we're just 11 days away.